In today's video, you're going to get to see a beautiful 1963 Corvette. Hello everybody and welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, then welcome. I really appreciate you being here today. If you've been to my channel before, then as always, welcome back. Thank you so much for the comments that you leave for me, for your thumbs up, for you subscribing to my channel, and also remembering to hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is being released. Today, you're gonna to meet a gentleman, his name is Marty. Marty has an absolutely stunning 1963 Corvette. It is unlike anything you've seen before. It also happens to be the Stingray edition with the split window, which is a very well sought after car. He's had this beautiful car for about 25 years. It was actually found in a barn in Brantford, Ontario. It's got hooker side pipes on it. The paint is extremely unique and gorgeous. It is called Extreme Rainbow, and you'll understand why. So without further ado, let's hop in, let's go for a drive, and let's check out this beautiful 1963 Corvette. Okay, rev it. Alright. That is good. Pump the horn. Okay, turn her off. Good lord, Marty. That's something else. Tell me what you've got here. This is a 1963 Chevrolet Corvette. The first year of the Stingray. Corvette oh Stingray. Oh my God. The color is mesmerizing. You know this. Look at this thing. Yeah. How long have you had it, sir? I've had it for 25 years. And this is definitely not the original color. So no, you've it's done not. a lot of work to this little girl. Yeah. I actually bought it as a piece of junk in a farmer's field. Where did you find her? Brantford. So Canadian car? Yeah. All right. Originally from the States. The guy I purchased it from bought it from the States. And he sold it to me in the same condition he bought it. He never got to it. Good Lord. And it's got the split window as well. Yeah, the one year for a split window is 63, and that's the only year they did it. Marty, I gotta say, like the, this color is really hard to define as well, but like the lines on this car, like when you look at it from this angle, I mean, it is gorgeous, isn't it? Who the heck would think was, of designing a car quite like this? Yeah, other from original, from the body, Basically, I put the flares on the wheels, one inch flare on the front, three inch flare on the back. Allows me to get a foot of rubber. Okay. On the road. So the rear tires are wider than the front? or Yes. They are, okay. Yeah. The That's front are maybe eight inches wide and the rears are 12 inch wide. So they're definitely staggered, 12 inch wide. Good God, man. All right. And I still spin through first, second, and third gear. I bet you do. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Oh my God, Marty. And why the Corvette? Uh, I've just always loved Corvettes. It's almost like the, the pinnacle of a sports car. And the 63 is the one year that was very unique. Most people have heard about the split window. Absolutely. She's just stunning. 
The original car, was there an option from the factory to get uh, side pipes? Or what do you call these? Though? Yes, side pipes. Yeah. Um, I believe there was. The 63 to 67 is a similar body style. And some years, I'm not sure if 63 did or not, I believe they did, offered uh, side pipes. Wow. They were different than these. These are competition hooker side pipes. Gorgeous. Yeah, we're there's getting some sun out now. Oh, now look at it. Oh my God, Marty. It's like it explodes. Yeah. How about that? Within seconds. Yeah. From here, the whole car is neon yellow. We could not have timed it better, right? Just thinking, because we were looking at the clouds earlier, and the, oh my gosh, you're not kidding me, are you? Yeah, it just depends. This car is a different color every time during the day, and night it's another color as well. There's what, probably- What do you actually call this color? Is there a name for it? Or? There's a name for this. It's called Extreme Rainbow. My, my. Oh, I love this purple too, suddenly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes that's a deep, dark purple and the blues come in and there's probably 15 colors I've seen in this car. My at God. times I've seen it, the whole car forest green. Look at this, like literally, now I see a blue. Yeah. Within seconds. Oh, it's just where you goodness. step and where the light is. You're looking at one color and the person beside you sees another. It's just a mesmerizing car. Do you know how many comments I got about this car? Like when I did the Streetsville car show, oh, everybody's yeah. saying, oh, when are we going to see the Corvette? It's right <laughs> here. Carney got a hold of him. Oh my God, Marty, she's just stunning. So how many years did you kind of work on and did you do a lot of the work yourself? Uh, I supervised all the work myself. Okay. I had about five different shops build this car. I bought it as out of a farmer's field and it had no engine, no interior, no glass, no doors. It was an empty, broken, cracked fiberglass shell on a frame. You have photographs of this? I do. Can we have a quick look? Sure. And then we can really see the difference between before and now. You know, Marty, I just realized something and I didn't notice it before. I love the way how the door actually curves a little bit up. Yeah. Just it get, actually molds right into yeah. the frame. Look at that. Makes getting in and out a little bit easier too, right? Yeah, yeah. The headroom is not Wonderful. cutting your head off as you get in and out. Nice. Yeah, let's have a look. So that's her now. Yeah. Oh my This God. is what I bought. Good Lord. You can see there's no doors, no glass. No nothing. No, win no windows. Interior, there's nothing there. Good Lord, let's have a look at that one. Wow. So just, it was just the kind dash of and that's it. Glove compartment wasn't even there. Would you say it was abandoned? No, no. It was stored like in a, a barn somewhere? No, it was in a field. <laughs> oh and my God, look at that. Just a few different pictures of it now. Well, I, I got the real thing right here. Yeah, so got, yeah. Okay, amazing. But you can see the... You can see the different, different color colors. Different yeah. colors. It just depends where it is. Oh my God, look at that. Gold almost. Yeah, and yellows. Wow. It just. That's something. I love it. Beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous. Can we take a look at the engine? Sure. What was the motor like when you got it? Was there, there any. There was no motor. No, nothing at all. Nothing at all. I had to get a flatbed tow truck and pull it up onto the flatbed because it did not run. Good God. There was, there was an empty shell on a frame. Unbelievable. But you asked before, was it abandoned? No, this owner knew what he had. He had an ownership for a 63 split window car. It wasn't cheap buying that I piece bet. of junk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knew, so, okay. he knew, he knew what he had. Yes. <laughs> and I knew what it could be. Right. <laughs> Oh, for crying out loud. Look at this thing. Marty. I could use some choice language right now. <laughs> this is stunning. You got more bling under here than I've seen ever. 
The rad is an aluminum rad, custom made chrome shroud to hold a high speed fan. This engine is 600 horsepower and virtually 600 foot pounds of torque as well. Wow. With a naturally carbureted engine. My God, pure muscle. Yeah. Let's have a look at this thing. Good Lord, Marty. I'm a little bit lost for words here. Not what I expected. Oh. And this car is driven. It always starts for me. It always gets me there. And I can cruise nice and slow or I can tear up the streets and spin through first, second, third gear. When you built this car then, did you add other things air conditioning, like other features to make it a little bit more comfortable to drive around? No, there's no you air conditioning. It, right. Um, there is power rack and pinion steering, okay. which is uh, a nice feature to have. But that wasn't in the original no. 63 vet? Okay. No, it was manual steering. When you're okay. stopped, yeah. the wheel doesn't yeah, yeah, turn. Yeah. Well, ton, right? yeah. Wow. And... Uh, yeah, just building the engine, it's basically uh, high lift roller cam, roller lifters, roller rockers. And um, you can hear when it's running, it's got a bit of a shaky idle. That's yeah. the high lift cam right. producing more horsepower. The actual heads are Dart 2 heads and they were ported and polished bigger right from new to flow more air more fuel and it's higher compression about 11 and a half to one so i need premium fuel of course yeah. usually the 94 at petro canada i use and i also i don't have to but i use octane boost as well brings it up another five points the 94 becomes like 99 yes. and the car just loves it and with the price of gas these days, it's a little bit more painful, but hey, yeah. it is a labor of But if love, you get so. to drive this car, you don't Why care not? about the fuel exactly. mileage. Exactly. You can't have horsepower and fuel mileage. No, <laughs> it smiles per gallon is, uh, is the yeah. way you look at it. She's so, so gorgeous. How much uh, spaces are in the trunk? Uh, quite a bit, actually. It is, uh, like every Corvette, a right. two-seater. Yep. So to get to the back is just through I'll the, show you uh, first the, yeah. the dash yeah, here. Yeah, let's have a look here. Okay. This is the original dash all right. with all new gauges behind it. Oh, so it's an electronic nice. dash. Yes. Tilt steering. Good God, man. So I have everything very precise. These are all new gauges made for this car that fit in right behind the original dash. I, That's I the fan I you love hear. your wiper uh, switch there too. Yeah. <laughs> and the clock is actually that stock? it's actually that the stock that's the clock that came with it with Amazing. a second hand and everything and that oh works perfectly. No radio, none of that nonsense. The engine is the symphony. Yep, the engine is the symphony. And look at the shift pattern. So this is a 6-speed manual. I put a 6-speed manual. Wow. It came with a 4-speed. So it's nicer on the highway. Six gear is like 0.75 to one, lowers my RPM. It's your overdrive. Basically. It's my it's overdrive and I, I can cruise forever at any speed I want. And power seats too. Yeah, six way power seats. Wow. These seats, I'll let you take a look at them. Those oh, seats are out of like a mid nineties Corvette. My oh my. So hang on a second. This is for the power seats. What's this? This uh, is your air control for three-way lumbar. Oh, for crying out loud. I can pump it up. This The lumbar comes up and each one drops top, middle, or bottom so you get your oh, back yeah, yeah. perfectly. Quit, quit showing off now. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. How beautiful is this? And let me have a look. And here's here. the... Yes. Oh, wow. You can fit two golf clubs back there. Well, and certainly Go some, golfing. Some, some beer as well there. Right? Yeah. Wow, okay. You can go away on a vacation, you got luggage room. I love the split window. It's amazing. Yeah, customers complained in 63 when they bought it 
that they, that they can't see couldn't. in the rear view mirror directly right behind them. It's a minor obstruction, but 64, the they, they it. made it one window. And from <sighs> then on, it was always one that made this car unique and sought after. You don't need the rear view mirror. You're going forward. That's right. <laughs> They're going slower than I am. Yes. Oh, I love it. It's funny. I remember going to India many years ago and my, uh, my cousin was driving the car. And in India, they never look at the rear view mirror. Their idea of rear view mirror is, well, to adjust your hair, right? Like, yeah. who cares what's behind you? <laughs> I love the artwork here. Yeah. Does that mean something to you? Uh, it does. It's a picture I'd always loved as a kid. It's, uh, the original artist was Frank Frazetta. That original oil painting right now is worth about $6 million. Wow. And I always liked that picture. And my friend is a, an artist. After the car was painted, he sat in my basement with the hood and drew that in two days. And who, who is your friend that did that? Uh, Scott Harrell. My God, Scott, you are an artist, sir. Very impressive. It's actually airbrushed and then actual hand brushed for the actual details. Beautiful. So it's more than just a spray it from a gun. It was gun and brush. This car is spectacular. Oh, thank you. I love the license plate. I, it's yeah. amazing you got that, right? Like, how many people want this kind of a plate? So, yeah. wow. It suits the car. Absolutely. And look how the colors shifted again. Yeah. As the sun's playing. Yeah, the sun's in the clouds now. It's not as vibrant. It's... My God, Marty, that's beautiful. Well, we can yap about this, or should we go for a little spin? Sure, we let's can do that. that. All right, let's go for a little drive. You can drop this hood and it'll close, but I put it down nicely and click it in. She's still a, <laughs> she's still a lady. I love your, uh, <laughs> the bullets there too, right? Yeah, it just the fits bullet the lug car. nuts. Absolutely. And they actually change color too, like the car. Right on. Just like your glasses too. So you've got this theme going on yeah, with the, yeah. uh, the color shifting. Gorgeous. I love the, as you drive in actually, your daytime running lights are actually LED lights. Yes. Where are they in fact? You will see, I will hit them here. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're my <laughs> flickers as well. Oh yeah. How gorgeous. And then the headlights. Yes. Or in behind. Right on. Ah, lovely. Why spoil the lines of the car, right? So it just looks perfect. Amazing. Go for it, sir. All right. The neighbors must love you. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm coming home at two in the morning, I'm yes. trying to idle into I my guess, house. Yes. Good luck with that. Be back. Oh my. So we turn left here. love driving this thing. I get a lot of thumbs up, a lot of nice car. Oh, I've heard it a million goodness. times. People from their other cars say Is it, it worth it though? It just is. to it get makes... that acknowledgement that you know what? Yeah. It's you your... like what I built, thank you very yes, much. Exactly. It's your passion and it, it comes to fruition when people recognize it, right? It does.
Johnny, you're not kidding when you say you can burn rubber in this thing. <laughs> I will turn right here. So, do you go to many shows? Ah, uh, here and there. Just local? Uh, pretty well. Okay. I'll travel a little bit, but I don't always hear about them. It's just my car for me and. Isn't that bad with the split no. window? No, I can see the car behind me, just not the middle of his car. Plus, if they're behind you, they're too slow anyway, so. That's uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> The sound is incredible. Like we're talking Harley Davidson and four wheels. Aren't we that's what it sounds like. Similar. Oh my gosh. And this car revs to 8,000 RPM. I could imagine. Actually, once you get past 5,000 RPM, the pull you're feeling up till then just increases. It starts pulling even more. turning circle too. Well, you do realize I set them up for you to do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do I say, Marty? Amazing. And it's... it's the detail though, Marty. You've done such a great job. And even this, as you're describing, you had this made just to kind of make it look smarter, cleaner. Yeah. I guess this is the original speaker from the old radio that would have yes, been Yes, this back is the speaker the and your defrost is slat up there and... Not that you'd ever drive this little girl in the winter, but... Uh, yeah, you know it's, uh, it's in the summer and fall and spring. Beautiful. And I love right the, uh, the windows. <laughs> uh, the yeah, window. the yeah. little one for the little one yeah. and the big one for the big one. Awesome. Marty, I couldn't talk in the car, really, but here's a question. What was the very first car you ever bought? It was a Trans Am. What year? 1986. I had the 84. Oh, did okay. Did you have the 5.7 yes, GTA? I yes, I did. <laughs> Absolutely. My favorite car. I still miss her. Oh, my God. It's one of those things. Don't you wish you kept the cars we had back in yeah, the day? Yeah, yeah. Look at this thing. Marty, what do I say? Actually, one other thing I can show yes, you. Let's go for it. From the back here. Yeah. If you get down, get back here. Oh, a little bit further, okay. I don't know if you noticed, but the the license plate frame, oh, the skulls, <laughs> our eyes are on. I love it. 
But if you look underneath, zeal from under, yes. Look, even the pretty chrome there too. That's uh, aftermarket suspension system. That uh, lets the car handle very well. My oh my, it's like I'm looking at an F1 car right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my lord, she's stunning. The detail just gets me. I love the the chrome there and the skull too. Yeah. How priceless. Now, do you have underglow and stuff like that on this? No, thing? I do no? not. Okay. Oh, look at the sun again. Yeah. Oh my God. Now you'll have a yellow car from this side. Yes, and... let, me, let me do it one more time. I think the sun's uh, in our favor now for a bit. Good God. Uh, it kind of went back Just in. Just magnificent, isn't it? Wow. It'll come in and out a little bit. Okay, while it's bright, stand beside the driver's side and we're gonna wrap it up. And then I'm going to take some photographs. All right, let me stand back here. So, Marty, what do I say? Thank you so much. Thank you for making time to come and see me today. You're welcome. This I... car is stunning. And you know this. She's well, beautiful. I get told a lot. I and know. I've won a lot of trophies. <laughs> I could imagine. And well-deserved. She's magnificent. It's obviously you know, visible that you care about her and you take care of her and you enjoy driving her the, and the, the way one, it's meant to be driven. The one thing is this paint job is now 22 years old. No way. This was painted in 2000. I bought the car in 97. After three years, I was to the painting stage and it was painted in 2000 and it's been as it is for 22 years. Wow, that makes it even more impressive right there. If I'm not wow. driving it, it's in my garage. Covered. Yes. Covered, yes. safe. So it's... Uh, Beautiful. And the quality of the paint Absolutely. was... And now I understand why it was so expensive. Yes. And the, the person who painted it is a true artist to, to make it pop the way it happens to. Yeah. Just beautiful. Not something you see every day. So many people asked on the video if this was a wrap. And yes. I said, no, it wasn't a wrap because I remember talking to you then and because I, I just, you know, it's a wrap, but it's not. It's actual paint. And that's, yeah. This that's car has never been wrapped. It was painted and driven ever since. Beautiful. Thank you, Marty. You're welcome. It.